And here we go. It is cruise day, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose and welcome to our very first MSC cruise ship ever. The MSC Maravilla. First stop, we gotta pay for parking. Please press the button for entrance. Okay. The ticket. How much is it? It doesn't say. Okay. On the reel, there doesn't seem to be too many people here. Um, okay, we're probably like one of the first, but there's our ship. There she is. On this very uh, gloomy, overcast day. There's nothing like cruise day. Welcome back to your daily dose and welcome to another cruise video. We only have a three day cruise, so that means I only bring a backpack. I kind of pack light. Three day cruises is sort of kind of nothing. I don't really need to bring too much, but we just parked. I don't know how much the parking was because I think we paid for the parking after. But we do, because I didn't pay for it yet. My boarding time is actually right now. I had to print off my, my boarding pass and then this uh, like health mandatory questionnaire. Um, so I filled that out. Um, thought it would be like done on an app like all the other cruise ships but it's all on paper and also we do have to wear masks I don't know how that all works but masks are required on this cruise ship thoughts on that leave that down below but regardless I'm uh, so excited for this trip new cruise new private island if you guys are new out here please do me a favor and uh, hit that subscribe button and join the channel here let's go uh, let's go have some fun We've got the lovely Disney Cruise Line right next to our ship. Ah, the Disney Wish. Coming soon there, coming soon. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's go board and see what the ship is all about and has to offer. But uh, before we board, a few things about the MSC. Our ship, the MSC Meraviglia, is actually quite a newer ship, built in 2017. I wanna say it's the third largest MSC cruise ship with 19 decks of exploring and there's one important thing to note regarding uh, MSC. They primarily sail in Europe. It's a European cruise line, which is why I kind of was intrigued about booking this ship. We've got such a weird day today in Florida. I think while we're gone, it's supposed to rain the entire time. While we're going to NASA, we're gonna be going to NASA and MSC's uh, private island. Nothing but blue skies. So say goodbye to this and say hello to blue skies once we, once we get going here. I wonder how packed this ship is going to be because it doesn't seem busy at all. Not not busy like one bit. We are here early. We got the berth for the first boarding time at noon. It's uh, 12 10 right now. You see this? We've got the cruise ship smiles. Mm. I love cruising. Okay, I think right here is where we have to put our mask on. Kind of a big drastic change for us just because you know we we're so used to not wearing masks especially on cruise ships now it is what it is we're gonna enjoy it we're gonna have fun but just here reporting just here reporting the ship on the outside has got like a really beautiful design going to it kind of dig it in we go and mask on security security time security was a breeze but this is the part that might take a while. I have no idea what's coming up next, honestly. Seems like this is the process that might slow us down since everything is on paper. Nothing electronic. This is where they're gonna check us in in the questionnaire and whatnot. But um, yeah, good thing there's not that many people here right now at the moment. 1217. Prior to boarding, I had to fill out, like I said earlier, this health questionnaire. I think that's what they're checking. Also, one of you guys sent me this passport protector with our name, my name on it. Thank you. You rock. I told you I would use it. Hello. How's it going? What do you all need to do? you have your boarding pass? Yeah. This is actually the waiting area. So if you guys do forget to test, um, you can get a COVID test here and then you wait, obviously, for your results. So that's kind of neat that they have this. I didn't know they did. A lot to, a lot to seats. Now we're just going to the desk. Got to show my negative results again and my passport and my vaccination card. Same process. Thank you. Honestly, this process is really smooth. Very smooth, just like any other cruise ship. We got our room key and we're boarding. That was so simple. So simple, I was a little bit nervous. I'm always running into you guys, always running into you. You guys are from Claremont? Yeah, hey Kyle. Heck yeah, you ready to go on MSC? Yes. Very excited. I'm excited First too. First time. Same, same yeah. actually. Yeah. 
Let's do it. Yeah. Wanna get a picture? Yeah. Heck yeah. We're gonna walk on it together. I'm so excited, y'all. Heck yeah. Check this out as we're walking on in. A lot different from our last cruise from uh, the Wonder of the Seas. I think we're gonna have a fairly empty cruise, which is kind of nice. We're approaching the best part, walking on it for the very first time. Um, and I'm gonna update you guys on like what these mask policies are, where we can wear it, where we can't. I think it's just like enclosed guest areas. So we're on top, we can take our mask off, obviously. Hopefully. <laughs> our vacation starts in five, four, three, two, hello, one, and we're on. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't record. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. That was different. All right, we, uh, we are on board. In order to get on board though, we did have to scan again and they give us this little wristband. I don't really know what it's for, um, but we are, we are officially here. It smells good, it smells great. Did a little asking around and this is uh, to open your door and it actually is, it's like a COVID kind of thing. They can say, they can basically see who's been in close contact with someone who had COVID. It's like an isolation thing. They, they track you where you go and whatnot. So. I don't know if this is something that they always have on MSC, but it's what they have right now for uh, COVID and yeah, I guess, I don't know. Quick look at the beautiful promenade. I've got a feeling that's gonna change over time. So far, first impressions, impressions it's pretty beautiful. I wanna go to uh, Guest Relations though, which is over here. Okay, now we're talking. Beautiful, it's like really elegant feeling and we've really got some Live music. We're gonna take these stairs down and um, go to the reception. Oh, <gasps> holy cow! I think these are actually crystals. What the heck? All right. Ooh, we got our first bar. We do have the drinking package. Here we go. Concierge. Interesting. Interesting setup. <laughs> Something very different as well, you have to have a cruise card activation. So in order to charge stuff on your account, you actually have to go to these kiosks that are actually throughout the ship. Your card doesn't come automatically linked. Well, they have nothing available. They have a thing called a, a yacht club, which is, I guess, a really, really cool thing to be in, but they're actually all sold out. I have a feeling everybody that's sailing is part of the yacht club because there's nobody on the ship right now, but the room's already, so we're gonna go up to the room and check that out. I'm excited, we have a balcony. And by the way, these are actually crystals. The journey of finding your room. I feel extremely lost at the moment, but I love this feeling because it's a new ship. Boy, oh boy, where do we go? Did have to make a quick pit stop at this little machine because my uh, debit card isn't linked to my account at all, but I just went through the process. I only put $50 on my card because I don't really think I'm gonna be spending much other than, I actually don't even know because the drinks and food are all included right now at the moment, so I only put $50 on here. Your debit card doesn't come linked. Very interesting. We are on deck 10. We should elevate her up. I, uh, <laughs> I'm so disappointed I'm already taking an elevator. What is this, Kyle? Here we go. Let's go up. Ooh, this cruise ship loves mirrors. Like, loves mirrors. I feel like every floor has a million mirrors. We've only been on two floors, but holy camoli. This is trippy. Already such a different vibe from any other cruise ship that, I, that I've been on. Holy cow. Okay, let's find the room. I think we're this way. It's like a way darker vibe. Like way darker. This way? Oh, that's an elevator. This way, I guess? <laughs> we're in a giant maze. A giant maze. I think this is us. Without further ado, let's check it out. It worked, it's us. Ooh. Sort of kind of trying to get acclimated with uh, this room, you can't do the normal card trick where you just put any card into here. You, it has to be the one that you have on your ship. Aw, oh, man. Okay, here's our room. To me, this has a very elegant type, like, bachelor feeling, except the rug. Don't really like the rug. It's like a puke yellow. 
Um, we got directly to our left a lovely, lovely mirror. This is how we control the temperature. It looks like we can actually call um, someone to make up our room. I don't know what D and D is, but I don't want to touch that. We got some lights here, and this is obviously what controls the power in our room. Hopefully, this bed is comfortable. But we actually have a closet directly right to the left of the bed. I, I kind of dig the colors because that's kind of the colors that I would like in like my room and whatnot. Um, nice little end stand, uh, light as well. It's a queen bed. You can split these, obviously. I'm, I'm almost betting. Couch, painting on the wall. Oh, picture, picture, that's definitely not a painting. It seems pretty spacious. And here is the desk area. Pretty cool, modern. Again, it's giving me like bachelor vibes. Just don't like the the carpet, honestly. Um, hi, hello. Two outlets, one USB, Euro port, because um, this is a European cruise ship. Uh, they do give us a, a face mask, but a lot of people are already not wearing face masks, so I feel like it's not really a thing on this ship. They just say it, but I don't know. We'll kind of feel that out. But what do you guys think about the room? <laughs> Looks good to me. Oh, mini bar, mini fridge. Let me open this right here. Oh, that is definitely not free. Definitely not free. There's no way. Interesting. It comes fully stocked. Huh. But we are in the drinking plan, so I feel like it's free, but no, I don't think it is. There's the prices. Let me show y'all the bathroom real quick. Here she is. Again, decently sized. I don't know if it's bigger than the Wonder that we were just on. There she is, our shower head. Enough space to do, to do what you need to do in here. And then I did book a balcony. I needed to book a balcony this time, so we did. Here she is, oof. Not the biggest balcony, and we're kind of like at a weird point of the ship where we're not on like the edge. It's indented, so it's not like we're gonna be looking directly at the sea, which is kind of unfortunate. We don't really have the best view at all actually this is not really ideal because we have these boats right here but you know we're gonna make it work we have a balcony that's it not it's it's okay that we can see we can't see directly to the sea we'll have a nice view of it out here um my first impressions right now is that i'm insanely lost i want to get acclimated with the ship because i have no idea about anything anything at all and it's kind of like one of my biggest fears when i don't know what to do first things first i need to get unpacked that is, that is a must. Because then I feel one with the ship before we go and discover stuff. And by discover, I mean we need a drink and something to eat. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Couldn't even tell you which way to go, but we're gonna do it. I think I wanna go up. Whoa. The stairs and like the open elevators, this has a very interesting design. A couch in it, wow, this is huge. The hub on the 10th floor. Is every floor like this? <gasps> We've got a castle. <laughs> oh my goodness, wait a second. News to me. This is optional. I thought she didn't need it. Heck yeah. On the real, I'm so confused because somebody else just told me that I need to wear it. We gotta find this out. I'm confused. But I love this central hub on the 10th floor. <laughs> Bamboo pool. Are we at the top yet? Open. This is lovely. <laughs> There's like nobody on this cruise ship right now. Holy cow, welcome to the bamboo pool. We've got two hot tubs, a bar, a lot of discovering to do. I don't know, no one's wearing masks. I think, wait, we're good because we're on top. Ooh, this is like the main central area. We found some uh, civilization. After all, there are people on this ship. What? Okay. It's gonna be all right. Wow. Okay. We found the running track. Good to know that it's on top. I love when they're on top. It is so windy out today. So windy. Look what we just found. An inside basketball court. This is so cool. Is this the arcade? 
Yeah. Oh. This is called the sports bar. It looks like the kids' place is on top. I want to go inside as well because uh, there's probably some arcade games, but hello. All right. A basketball court inside, new to me on a cruise ship. How neat. There's a bowling alley over here. It looks like there's milkshakes here in the sports bar. Okay, there's a two-lane bowling alley. Star Wars Battle Pod? I've just recently got into Formula One. There's a Formula One simulator in here. Holy cow, that's neat. And the bowling alley. <laughs> this is so cool. Sports bar. Here's a look at those uh, prices. It looks like $30 for 30 minutes, 50 for an hour. The simulator is $12. I really kind of want to try that. How cool. Now that is a fun spot, for real. Ooh, the arcade is also over here as well. It's kind of tiny, very tiny arcade. We also just stumbled upon the gym. What? <laughs> Let's see how good the gym is, seven to nine. It's not 24 seven. Quick little scan here at the gym. It's relatively small, but I mean, it's probably not gonna get too crowded, right? Tons of treadmills. It overlooks actually the center. Nothing uh, overlooking the, the ocean, unfortunately. The weights are in kilograms as well, because you know, European ship, that's so funny. Exploring is so much fun. Ooh, what do we have here at the aft? There's a jungle gym thing up there? Okay, it's super windy, guys, but a, a really tiny pool at the aft with a really weird statue. I wanna see if we can go up there. We need to go to a bar, too. Stumbled upon the teenager room where we've got a PS4, an Xbox, foosball. Basically like your small little gaming center for, for teenagers. The kiddos section is a theme to Legos. Can't go in there though. You need to have a kiddo to go in there. Sort of kind of like my makeshift quick little tour. I didn't really intend to do a tour because we need to get drink and food, but this is actually called the Sky Lounge. It is uh, 21 years and older. I don't think I've ever had that on a cruise ship. It overlooks like the main central area as you guys can see right now. All I know is it's time to get some food. Let's go to the, I think they call it the marketplace. What do they call it? Yep, the marketplace, the buffet. Mm, 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 that smells good. Check out their little washing stations. They're actually like, kind of like indented. It's like your own little personal section. Huh. We've got pizza, salad. Who eats salad on a cruise? Not me. Soup and pasta, <gasps> rotisserie, bread and cheese, lovely desserts. If you know, you know. Use the tongs, everybody. Use the tongs. We're gonna get a slice of uh, the Chicago round. It's huge. A look at my first of many food plates here. I love cruising. Personally, I haven't eaten anything at all today. I'm just gonna hit the spot. It's all right, I'm hungry and this is good. And you know what the best thing about cruising, if you don't like it, go get something else. And to start it out, this food is just, just okay. Nothing like, oh my God. Drink time. this bamboo pool. This is where I'm gonna get my first drink. Like, look at this. All right, are you ready? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get you? Can I get a Blue Long Island? Blue Long Island. Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Here we go, first drink. Oh, this is your first drink. First drink. All right. It's always the Blue Long Island now. Look at this. I love me some really nice bartenders here. Oh, boy. Here we go. The real question is, if we don't get a Blue Island, are we actually cruising? I've been trying to go to this side of the ship, but this side is completely blocked off for the Yacht Club members only. Really weird. So we only have that part of the ship to kind of explore, which we kind of already did. Um, wow, half the show, well not half, like one fourth of the ship is dedicated to Yacht Club members only, and that's what I was trying to get into at the beginning of the ship. Can't even go up there. 
release, we got a Blue Long Island. Fun fact, everybody, there's only 800 people on this cruise. Kyle's in the elevator again, going down to deck six. But guess what? I've heard there's only 800 people on this cruise. Kind of crazy. Deck six. Oh, wow. Ooh, we're at the promenade. Hello. We've got this whole place to ourselves. Also just noticed, we were right, they did change the ceiling already. That's gonna be cool to see what they change it to, but this promenade is very open. I can already see to the left over here, we've got like a dance floor vibe going on. This place is so empty and I love it. Holy camoli sauce. They have their own chocolate like factory. Ooh, it's like the ganachery. No way, there's Maui. Wow, good to see you Maui. You can build your own chocolate bar. We're definitely gonna check this out one of the days. So if you're not already, hit the subscribe button. Tons of content, tons of adventures still. <laughs> we haven't even seen everything yet. With this ship being like not crowded at all, 800 people, I'm not really worried about booking anything. I feel like we'll just be able to roll up whenever we kind of essentially want to roll up. The, the pleasures of not having a packed cruise. This reminds me of Epcot. We're at the Epcot bar. <laughs> Look at those chairs. That's Spaceship Earth. Don't know where we're walking to, but I feel like we're walking into Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> it's by the casino. It's the casino. <laughs> I've, I literally say every time that I want to gamble, but I am just not a gambler. I hate losing money. I guess some other time, eh? Everywhere we walk, there is like nobody. So I kind of want to pass the question off to you guys. Do you prefer a pack cruise or a non-pack cruise? I guess it depends on the vibe you're going for. I don't really have a preference, but I love having a cruise ship by myself. Stumbled upon a really cool place called the Carousel Lounge. Um, I'm hoping there'll be some entertainment tonight. Wow. Back in the room here just for a little bit. We're going live here on YouTube, but as far as the mask goes, I'm really confused because a lot of people aren't wearing them. No one's really enforcing it. So I'm confused if you have to, if you don't have to, and I've talked to some people that say you don't have to. Some say you have to, but some say you don't have to. I'm confused. Someone just knocked on my door. I don't know what this is about. What do you mean? Why? Dude, why? Can you go away? They just said I'm getting kicked off the ship. What? There's like three people outside saying I'm getting kicked off. April Fools! <laughs> it's, the, it's like the best April Fools joke that I could think of. I'm not getting kicked off. I'm a terrible actor. Um, April Fools, ha! This is the best day for um, for clickbait. And if you happen to be clicking on this video after uh, it was April Fools the day I posted this and I have to play April Fools joke on you guys, I'm not getting kicked off, I, I yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, rainy Florida. It's time to meet the sea. And blue, blue Bahamas. How cool is this? An elevator outside looking at the sea. What? What? It is time. Time for dinner. Time for dinner. This way? Oh, cool. What? All right, I'm excited for some dinner. Um, yeah. Well, here's a look at the dining area. It smells like seafood. I cannot wait. Oh, we got the menu. All right. Right. Good luck for you for the paper copy. Hey, Want to say hi? Hi. Uh, no. This shrimp cocktail is more money. It's not included. What is this? Come on now, MSC. They always want to charge me more for everything. Well, we're gonna get the chilled shrimp cocktail. I can't go on a cruise and not get a shrimp cocktail. 
I feel like the biggest complaint about MSC is their food. This roll tasted great. I guess we're about to find out if it's good or bad. They even gave us a bread stick. Oh. That's delightful. As far as the main dining goes, it, it seems relatively small. It's only one to two floors. They really push the signature dining here on MSC. An upcharge for the shrimp cocktail. Five more dollars, or like four, but you can't go wrong with the shrimp cocktail. Oh my god, I love this. Mm. Chef's kiss. I also did learn to eat more of the, the tail from when you, so shout out to you. Next stop, we've got our uh, Spanish delight with chorizo, uh, manchego cheese, roasted bell peppers, olives, and grilled mushrooms. Zero complaints here. This food is good. Said I wasn't gonna drink, but here we are with the Long Island. Say it with me though, it is a chugger. Speaking of a chugger, we uh, forgot our rubber ducky. Gonna have to find one here on the cruise or at, uh, at Nassau. The Poyote pasta with uh, gorgonzola cheese and walnut sauce. Let's give it a whirl. Interesting. I like the sauce. The walnut makes it taste like cream of wheat. I will say, I don't know if it's because, you know, there's only 800 people on here, but I'm getting my food quick. And I like quick. Holy camoli sauce. This Rolo de, I can't even pronounce it, basic, basically a uh, pork roll with potatoes looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try a potato thing right now. Tastes good to me. Pork's just okay. A little bit fatty and chewy for me, but I don't know. People said the food wasn't good, but I'm enjoying this. And then we've got cream catalana, which is basically like creme brulee, uh, without like the you know this thing on the top. Let's see how it tastes. That is good. Oh lord, one to two scoops is enough because this is naughty. That is really good. I don't know what people are talking about because that was a fire di dinner service. Oh my god, that was so good. That was fire and it was so quick. Oh my god, crepes? Shut up. That, that, oh, they're not free. We're in an elevator again. Solid. Good work, Kyle. You suck. All right, everybody, that is gonna be it for your daily dose and our first day here on our very first MSC cruise ever. And it has gone beyond my expectations, especially the food. Tonight I'm gonna be seeing um, actually the entertainment off camera, so if you guys don't, go ahead and follow my Instagram because that's what we'll be posting that. But I'll see you guys tomorrow in Nassau, Bahamas, where we go to the one and only beautiful, Na uh, oh, one and only beautiful Atlantis. Peace out, thanks guys so much for all the love and support. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and that was it for your daily dose.